We've been doing some classification of the balance sheet and the income statement. It's now time to dig a little dirt. And how we do that is we do ratio analysis. And the first set of ratios we're going to look at are the ratios that have to do with liquidity. Now liquidity doesn't mean how fast can you turn things into water. It means how fast can you turn things into cash. And when we look at the liquidity ratios, we focus in our current assets and our current liabilities because we need to have enough current assets to pay off our current promises, don't we? So the two liquidity ratios that you're going to be looking at, uh, and we'll be doing this based on exercise 12, are called the working capital ratio, or what is working capital. So that's one, and that's current assets minus current liabilities. Now here we have current assets of 50,000. We have current liabilities of 20,000. So if I find what my working capital is, it's 30,000. So do I have excess current assets over my current promises, my current bills? Yes, I do. So how much do I have to work with as far as resources? Well, I have an additional 30000 in working capital or working resources to make a difference this period. Another way we can look at liquidity instead of in a dollar amount is to compute the current ratio. And the current ratio expresses the current assets over the current liabilities. In other words, I'm going to divide the current assets of 50,000 by the current liabilities of 20,000 and get a proportion. So 50,000 divided by 20,000 means that I have a current ratio of 2.5. In other words, I have two and a half times more current assets as current liabilities. Now, if you were to do these ratio analysis, asset analyses for uh, a living, you'd be a financial analyst, wouldn't you? And when financial analysts look at things like this, they have some rules of thumb. And their rules of thumb says, you know, what's okay? Generally, you want a current ratio above two. And you want a current ratio above two because you would like twice as many current assets as current liabilities because, you know, life happens. Or they want working capital that's, you know, a pretty substantial uh, cushion here. They do not like a negative uh, working capital uh, because that means you have more promises than you have resources to fulfill them. So you'd like this one pretty big, working capital big, gives you more flexibility, more um, ability to be responsive in times of life changes, and current ratio above two are the norms. So those are the liquidity ratios based upon the facts in exercise 12.